Good afternoon, Independence. We hope you had a great Valentine's Day and President's Day off. Welcome to the news. Man, we're really running out of ways to open the news. <laughs> no kidding. On this date in black history, W.E.B. Du Bois, an activist, organized the first Pan-African Congress meeting. One of the demands was to end colonial rule and racial discrimination against imperialism, and it demanded human rights and equality of economic opportunity. Don't forget, Puppy Love Dog Show is this Sunday from 1 to 6 p.m. The weather should be nice and everyone is welcome, including your dogs. Adult admission is $5, students are two, and dogs are free with proof of vaccination, and a signed waiver form. There will be a kids zone, food trucks, live entertainment, contests, and plenty of vendors. Now on a completely unrelated note, here's a short piece on Mr. Ganner's Taxidermy Club. Hey Independence, I'm over here at Mr. Ganner's class checking out the Taxidermy Club. So let's go see what they're cutting and stuffing. Uh, this is Taxidermy Club. This is a meeting we have after school. We uh, have about 10 kids in the club so far. Uh, each kid pays 10 bucks, which covers materials such as uh, taxidermy powders, crystals, the uh, materials and knives. The overall goal for the kids is to learn how to preserve the skin, how to uh, manipulate the, the internal anatomy so it looks like the specimen they're trying to preserve. Uh, we have, for the most part we have all kids working on squirrels. Um, we have large ones, small ones, medium ones, gray squirrels, fox squirrels. This is my squirrel named Jeffrey and he's a one of a kind. <laughs> I started skinning him out a week ago, and now I've got him down to where I can um, put all the salt and stuff on him and like dry the skin out. Well, Independence, I hope you still got your stomach, but you have to admit that was very cool. If you want to find the love of your life, today is the last day to buy a matchmaker result form at all lunches for $3 in the comments. Don't miss out on a chance to find true love. If you would like to order a class ring, Herf Jones representatives will be in the comments today during all lunches. Also, representatives from Mississippi State University will be in the comments today during lunch to offer admissions and scholarship information. Next weekend is the IHS Theater Department's production of the musical Pippin. Pippin is a high energy show with an outstanding cast that is sure to impress. Here's a peek at what they're working on. Now, gentlemen, this is the plan for tomorrow's skirmish. The army of the enemy is stationed on the hill, so we've got to draw them down here where they're easier to kill. So you in the ravine, that's the area in green, will move across the plain where you plainly can be seen. Then the enemy in blue will undoubtedly pursue, and we'll hope to keep your losses to comparatively few. And then... And then the men go marching out into the fray, conquering the enemy and carrying the day. Seniors, graduation is approaching. Please bring a copy of your acceptance letter and scholarship to the counseling office or email them Ms. McCombs. There are 92 days until graduation. All agendas are now free, while supplies last. Stop by student service and get a new one if yours got wet, lost, or caught on fire. 
Speaking of fire, some of the chemistry students here at school have been doing some experience with fire recently, and we had the chance to check it out. Well, we're taking elements and putting a wet stick in them and burning them, and it makes different color, the line spectrum of each of the elements. The line spectrum is like when you like look at it with a Spectroscope. Not there in the kitchen with the girl who's always gossiping about her friends. Or tell them I'll be here. Right next to the boy who's throwing up because he can't take what's in his cup no more. Oh God, why am I here? Yeah, it's cool to see all the different colors. What am I doing here? The cheerleading interest meeting has been rescheduled for Monday, February 22nd at 5 p.m. in the IHS library. We hope to see everyone interested in trying out there. The next Latin club meeting will also be Monday, February 22nd after school until 3.15 in Miss Peter's room, B115. We will be learning about the ancient Roman origin of Valentine's Day. Are you interested in illustrating your own children's book? Do you love to write or draw? Then you should join the Authors and Illustrators Club in Miss Peter's room, B115, every Thursday afternoon until 3.30. Bring your sketchbooks and your imagination. Coming up next, we have our weekly sports spotlight with Seth Gehring and Juan Vigoya. Congratulations to the 12 wrestlers who qualified for state. There's 11 boys and one girl. A big congrats to Coach Glass for winning Coach of the Year and Grayson Murphy for winning District Player of the Year. Well, I'd say that our biggest difference uh, from last year is that we're, we're a year older. Uh, we're veterans, whereas we have three seniors that start for us and two juniors, uh, whereas last year we were sophomores and juniors. Uh, and believe it or not, that, that one year of experience made, makes a big difference. It's, a, it's an honor to be, uh, to be selected by your coaching peers. Uh, you know, people, I think the general public don't know what, uh, what coaches in any sport go through on a daily basis. And uh, to be uh, recognized by your peers uh, uh, is a great honor. It's something that you don't, I don't take lightly. Uh, it's an honor to, to be selected, but at the same time, you know, our, our biggest goal is to, is to win this district championship. So, uh, but it is an honor to be selected by your, by your peers. It helps a little bit uh, knowing that uh, we do get that, uh, you know, we get that slot in the regional tournament. Uh, but, you know, one of our team goals is to win the district championship. And so uh, that's our ultimate goal. And, you know, it's going to take... Uh, you know, we got to bring it tomorrow night against uh, Centennial, and they're going to be ready to play, so it should be a, a great game. Independence basketball finished with their best record in school history, going 23-2. and With Independence finishing first in districts in the regular season, they automatically have a spot in regionals. Tonight we take on Centennial at Brentwood at 5.30, and we are having a toga out. So get your togas ready, and if you don't want to wear a toga, then just wear white. Have a great day, Independence. We'll see you all next week. Ciao.